Hey guys, today we're back with another torture test. And today on the channel will be torture testing the Protection Group Denmark Level 4 Ceramic Plate. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're gonna to be testing the Protection Group Denmark PGD single level four plate. This is a ceramic plate with a coating on the sides of it. So it's pretty much water resistant and drop resistant as well, because you all know that if a ceramic is dropped, it can uh, damage it, but this is drop resistant, so that is good. It's water resistant, so it will not break down as easy. And it looks to me like it's one of the best protected level four ceramic plates on the market. Uh, that being said, this model is the one that actually curves to your body and it's made like that for uh, your pleasure really more than anything because after wearing this for a few hours, if it ain't curved, it can start hurting your chest. And uh, to me, they just thought about everything that you could possibly think about whenever it come to uh, making this uh, plate. And they have multiple other plates on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can check them out. They make level three plates, 3A, four, and uh, different uh, models of each of them. But like I said, this is a PGD single IV level four plate. So guys, what we're gonna be testing this with today or torture testing with today, we'll be starting out here on the end. This is a Ruger 1022. We're gonna be shooting the mini mag, long rifle, bullets through it and uh, the main reason why I first thought about testing the 22 through it is because with a 22 long rifle, if you're just wearing level three or three A, uh, well, pretty much level three, just soft body armor, a 22 that is not the pretty much the lead jacketed or lead tipped, uh, if it's actually a full copper jacket, there's a very good chance that it can pass through a level plate or a level three plate. And uh, with these right here, it will 100% stop it, but I just thought I would let you all uh, check that out to show how well that this could be useful. Next up today, we'll be testing with a Mark 18 Daniel Defense. We'll be running 223 Remington, uh, Remington through it. And this is a 10.3 inch barrel. So I thought that it would be good to step it up. And then next on the list, we'll be running the Colt 6720. This will be a 223 as well. And this is out of a 16 inch barrel, so you're going to be getting a little bit higher velocity, a little bit more power with it. And that's why I thought I would also include this with it as well. Next up, we'll be doing these Astava Arms Z PAP M70. This is going to be a 7.62 times 39 Wolf jacketed hollow point or jacketed uh, point. Sorry about that. Next up, we're going to be doing the Arrow Precision AR10 with the Remington jacketed point 308 winchester and then guys if it lasts up to every bit of that we're going to be trying to throw some pretty heavy heat at it and that will be the 590a1 and first we're going to be shooting with the three inch magnum double out buck by federal as you can see here and then we'll be switching into the hornady or it's actually federal premium as well tactical slug two and three fourths inch all right, guys, as you can see, I stayed in front of all these guns the entire time. But uh, just letting you all know, for the safety reasons, all these guns' bolts are open. There's no magazines in them. There's no rounds in the chamber. All these guns through here, every one of them's on safety. So it's 100% safe to stand in front of them and talk. That's why I done it. But uh, we take safety to the utmost possible respect that you can give it. And that's why I also always wear eyes and ears anytime you shoot a firearm. doesn't matter. Make sure you always wear it. But guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. All right, guys, we're ready to take our first shot. And uh, before we start that real quick, as you can see here, this plate carrier I have on is one of Protection Group Denmark's plate carriers as well. I have customized it a little bit with the police patch on the front and on the back, as you can see. I also have a first aid safety kit on my left-hand side. These plate carriers, or not plate carriers, but these mag carriers on the front and a drop bag on the right hand side. This plate carrier also has a level four plates that we're gonna be te torture testing today. And so not only will I get to see what it does and you know the people who actually sent me the plate will get to see what it does, but I'll get to see what it does for myself so I'll know what kind to expect out of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Right, guys as you can see the gun is empty 
Let's go ahead and put the gun back on the table and let's take a closer look at the plate. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see here, it just literally, literally pretty much just tore the fabric on the front and that was it. You have a small indention and in the actual slow motion video, you can actually see the bullet come out and hit the ground from where it actually struck. You have here on the back, no bulging, so that's good to know, as you can see here. And this is pretty much what I expected out of the 22. But, like I said, a 22 with them rounds in it will be able to puncture soft body, body armor like level 3 or 3A, either one of them. So, it's good to know that level 4 plate, if you get shot with uh, one of them while wearing a level 4 plate, it will stop the bullet. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump to the Daniel Defense Mark 18 10.3 inch AR-15 and see what it does. All right, guys, once again, we're back with a Mark 18 10.3 inch barrel. This is gonna be shooting 223. So let's check and see what this does. You can see the bolt is open, gun is clear. Let's go ahead and sit on the table. And we'll check out that plate. All right, guys, let's check out the plate. So as you can see here, the 223 done a decent amount of damage. You've got a pretty decent sized hole here. You can see some ceramic has actually come out on the table. And in slow motion video, you can see that as well. But something I want to let you all know, as you can see, this coating on the outside of it caught the shrapnel. And it actually fell out whenever I first started looking at it. And the important thing about that is that if you get shot with a high powered bullet such as 223 7.62 anything like that and it it hits a vest if it was say a steel vest it could come up in your chest and go through your neck or you know your throat or whatever else and uh, that's a very interesting point to look at and that's why a lot of people like this ceramic stuff for is because it will uh, catch most of the shrapnel whenever it comes out so you know if you get hit Hopefully you never will be, but if you ever do get hit, then you can kind of expect to have at least some of your face left, I guess is what you'd say. So let's go ahead and check the back of it. Did not penetrate the back. We have a little bit of bulging, as you can see here. Try and get it to where you can see it. It's really not much at all, being honest with you guys, um, but it's a little bit, but really not much. So let's go ahead and put this back. And go ahead and step up to the 16 inch 6720 Colt AR. All right, guys, we're back. Once again, we're gonna be shooting with a 16 inch Colt 6720. And uh, just for you all to know, we have actually walked off 15 yards, measured out, and this is where every single shot's gonna be coming from from now on. So last shot was from 15 yards, and this one will be from 15 yards as well. So let's go ahead and see what this will do. open gun is empty let's go ahead and sit it on the table and we'll check out what it done to the plate all right guys we shot it in the same hole as we did with mark 18 and as you can see here literally it was almost the exact same hole and made a very deep cave, but good news is did not go through. You have a little bit more bulging here. As you can see, the plate is fine. This will stick on the back, uh, come up a little bit, and good as new. But um, as you can see also in the slow motion video, uh, the shrapnel come back just like it was supposed to. It did not come up into the neck area of the person wearing it, and that's really about all that you could ask for this. So another successful shoot. So let's go ahead and go up to the Zastava Arms Z Palp 7.62 times 39. All right, guys, we're back. Now we're going to be shooting the AK 47 Z Palp M70 7.62 times 39.
the safe. Let's go ahead and put this on the table and see what it done. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see from the slow motion video, it, it tore it up pretty well. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. But as you can see here, it did indeed stop the bullet. And I, it made a huge cavity, don't get me wrong, but it did stop the bullet. As you can see here, we have a lot of uh, deformation in the back. Let's see here if I can get in here to show it pretty well. As you can see, but this last piece here on the back did indeed stop that bullet and that's very interesting it bloated all over the place so coming from perspective of you know getting shrapnel in your face you might have got a little bit but at least it did stop the bullet i'm gonna and sit down for a second so uh i was aiming about right around here and i guess i pulled or something so we shot a little bit higher but either way it goes it did stop the bullet and you can see here the shrapnel of the bullets actually still down in there the casing it's very warm uh, but guys trying to show right here exactly what it done but it did stop the actual projectile from the gun so very interesting let's go ahead and step it up to the 308 and see what happens all right, guys, now we're back with 308. Let's see what happens. Let's check that out. Guys, now I'm impressed. At 15 yards, the plate stopped the 308 Winchester. Let's go ahead and check it out. And even to give the boot, I hit it almost in the same place. Well, pretty much right in the same place that I did the other 223 rounds. So you have two 223 rounds in the same place and the 308 within pretty much about an inch and a half to two inches between each other. But let's check a look in the back. We have a severe disformation in the back of the plate, but it did catch the 308 round, as you can see here. I believe this is Kevlar back here that is holding it back, and it did stop. Well, we've got it falling out all over the place onto me, but it did stop the 308. That being said, I mean, it that that really did blow my mind, being honest with you guys, because if it would have hit up here and it would stopped it, still would have been very, very interesting. But for me to hit it, literally in the same place as the other 223 rounds that i'd already been hit and it still stopped it that's that's very very impressive in my book so well i'm glad to say it but that means we get to step up to the double lock buck stay tuned for this one all right guys just a quick change in plan i'm actually first going to shoot it with the slug instead of the double lock buck i know it's going to stop the double lock buck but I want to just single shoot a single projectile at it first before we tear the facing up pretty bad. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's check that out. All right, guys, that right there looked pretty rough, but it stopped it. Let's check it out. As you can see here, we hit it a little bit more towards the top. Uh, projectile still in there. As you can see, it blew a lot of stuff back. Let's see if I can get this tore back a little bit. 
believe it's still in there. I can't really tell, but here on the back, it tore the back end a little bit, but it did stop it. This red stuff right here is actually from the uh, swinging plate that was behind it. So it did not uh, protrude through it. It did rip it a tad bit here on the back, but it did stop it. So, as you can see, that's a lot of power you're getting hit with. But at least the projectile did not go into your body. But if you'd have been hit with that and use a man, you'd probably be on your back right now. <laughs> Just saying. But let's go ahead and shoot the uh, double lock bucket and see what it does. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, last shot out of the shotgun will be the Federal Double Op Buck 3-inch Magnum. This is going to pack a pack a leak into it, so let's go ahead and see what it does. Jerry kicks me about as much as I'd say it kicked that. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, let's check this out. So, as you can see here, that was once again three inch double alt buck magnum shotgun shells from that 20 inch 590A1, and that's at 15 yards once again. As you can see here, it uh, tore up the front of it, but look here on the back, not a single shell went through, not a single pellet or anything. Take this off right here and see, this right here once again was from the 308. This right here was just from the uh, 7.62, where it ruptured the back of it a little bit, but there hasn't been a single projectile come through this plate. So out of every single thing, that we've shot at it ranging from a 22 to two 223s, a 7.62 times 39, 308 slug, and now double op buck. There hasn't been a single thing to go through this vest. It looks like it's went through war, but the person behind it would 100% still be alive. So what we're gonna do now, just to pretty much take it out is we're gonna do a dump on it and see how many rounds it will take with the MK-18 for it to actually penetrate and go through the vest. So guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. As I said a minute ago, it has now went through seven bullets, 22, two 223s, 7.62 times 39, and 308 Winchester, 12-gauge slug, and 12-gauge three-inch Magnum double buck buckshell. So seven seven types all together or seven bullets all together i know the double out bucks multiple pellets but as you can see it has took everything is thrown at it so let's go ahead and actually see what it takes to break the vest or plate I'm about at a loss of words, guys. I thought I was impressed with a 308. Just in case, if you all lost count, that was seven shots with 223.556, pretty much. And the vest took every bit of it. I mean, check this out. As you can see here, I mean, it, it's, it's ripped out of pieces, cavities. Look on the other side, more protruding, but not a single bullet one went through this thing i mean i was i was impressed 
by our initial test. Don't get me wrong, I was highly impressed by our initial test and I will trust this thing with my life. But after seeing that, seven shots of 223.556 on top of seven other calibers we've already shot at it, it, it just it took every bit of it and just kept on trucking. I mean, you can't really ask for more. And that's that's just really blow my mind. And and if you all cannot see how useful this would be in a scenario to where, you know, you might encounter a long rifle or something of, you know, this caliber here. And uh, it it's just a very huge life-saving thing. And remember, that was seven more shots after seven that we've already shot at 15 yards. I mean, that's almost kissing you with a 223 long rifle, pistol, whatever you want to call this, you know what I mean? But at 15 yards, I mean, that's, that's really up close and personal with this type of gun. And it took every bit of it. I mean, you're gonna see your most uh, terminal ballistics right out of the gate at 15 yards. Uh, that's just really everything that you're gonna see is right here. And I mean, just telling y'all a little story, if you actually didn't see it in the news, uh, these these vests really do save lives, even if it is from rifles or if it's from knives or anything else. We actually, uh, uh, in Kentucky, there was an officer in Georgetown that actually went to a welfare check. As soon as he opens up the door, guy jumps out and stabs him in the vest. Well, if he would have had on like a three uh, alert, level three A soft body armor, there's a highly highly high chance that it could actually went through that armor and into his heart because it actually hit him right around here where his heart would have been. But the department had actually bought a uh, a plate, a, like a hard plate, like you see here, had put it in his vest. And whenever he went to that thing at the welfare check, got stabbed, it stopped the knife. I mean, I understand knives are a lot more different than what we've seen here, and this is 10 times worse. But at the same time, these, these plates really do save lives. So if you're in law enforcement, if you're in any kind of uh, security, or any kind of even civil matters. I mean, a lot of people have been buying body armor since all the riots and everything's been going on, you know, with Corona and all that stuff. Don't want to get into that. But um, as you can see here, this is a life-saving tool. And I 100% would trust my life with these plates made by uh, Protection Group Denmark. And I'm just telling you all, I cannot express how how really impressed I am with what's going on with this vest and uh, or this plate. And like I said, as you can see here, I've got their plate carrier on. I've got one in the front, one in the back, and I've worked this entire video, even going in between shots, setting stuff up, and I don't feel like I'm wore out or anything. I don't feel fatigued. These are highly uh, lightweight vests, and that's something very hard to find, really. And like I said, you know, I'm a decently big person, 6'2", about 250 pounds on a good day, but uh, as you can see, I'm not fatigued at all, not drooping any. I feel fine still. And really, at one point, I about even forgot I had this on. It's so comfortable. So, guys, we're going to be reviewing the uh, plate carrier itself in a further video, so check that out. We're also going to be reviewing the ballistic helmet that they sent me to torture test. It's level 3A, so we're going to be sending some pistol rounds towards it, so stay tuned for that. But, guys, once again, as you can see here, this, or this plate has took a beating. It's took a 100% beating, and it's lived through every bit of it. There's nothing more or nothing less that you could ask from it, and I'm just, I'm highly, highly impressed. And thank you again for sending me this plate to torture test, and thank you for sending me these to actually keep for my own personal use. So guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews. Check out Protection Group Denmark. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna check out some of these plates. Very high quality, as you can see here and I 100% support them, and I think that if you're looking for some level four plates, you can't beat this right here. So guys, appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see y'all in next video. <laughs>